hello everyone in this video we have to evaluate this so we have 243 to the power n by 5 times 3 to the power 2n plus 1 divided by 9 to the power n times 3 to the power n minus 1 first of all let's find the factor of 243 243 so 243 can be divided by 3 and we will get 81 and if we divide 81 we will get 27 and here it will be 9 and then we will get 3 so 243 can be written as 3 raised to the power 1 2 3 4 5 3 raised to the power 5 243 can be written as 3 raised to the power 5 3 to the power 5 and to the power n by 5 times 3 to the power 2n plus 1 9 to the power n can be written as 3 square and here it is 3 to the power n minus 1 now we know from the exponential property that a raised to the power m to the power n can be written as a raised to the power m times n so let's apply this here and here so 3 to the power 5 times n by 5 times 3 raised to the power 2n plus 1 divided by 3 to the power 2n times 3 to the power n minus 1 now 5 5 gets cancelled and we are left with 3 to the power n times 3 to the power 2n plus 1 divided by 3 to the power 2n times 3 to the power n minus 1 again we will have to apply our exponential property which is a to the power m times a to the power n can be written as a raised to the power m plus n we will apply this here so we will get 3 to the power n plus 2n plus 1 and in the denominator we will get 3 to the power 2n plus n minus 1 and in the next step we will get n plus 2n is 3n plus 1 divided by 3 to the power 3n minus 1 and another exponential property we will have to use is a raised to the power m divided by a raised to the power n can be written as a raised to the power m minus n we will apply this here so we will get 3 raised to the power 3n plus 1 minus of 3n minus 1 in the next step we will get 3 to the power 3n plus 1 minus 3n minus and minus plus 1 so 3n and 3n gets cancelled so 1 plus 1 is 2 that is 3 square so 3 square is 9. Therefore, our answer is 9. Thanks for watching.